Hey what's up guys, I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how you can get better at using the Stalker Rifle in Halo Infinite Multiplayer. I believe the Stalker Rifle is a great weapon especially when used right, or at least in a way that benefits you. So if you do enjoy this video and you find that it does help you out, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and check out some of my other videos for more. And let's get right into this. So the Stalker Rifle is basically the banished version of a Beam Rifle. Another weapon it can compare to is the Covenant Carbine. In fact, I find the Stalker Rifle to be a mix between them weapons. And that goes for both how the weapon looks and how it operates too. The Stalker Rifle can be used both like a Beam Rifle and Carbine. A major difference between the Beam Rifle and Stalker Rifle is that the Stalker Rifle is easier to control and has a faster fire rate too. The Stalker Rifle is also good for mid-range combat and isn't just a long-range weapon. Like I said, the Stalker Rifle is basically a mix between the Covenant Carbine and Beam Rifle. It can be used as both a Sniper or Beam Rifle and a Carbine. The Stalker Rifle doesn't have much recoil either, so hitting targets with it isn't too hard once you learn how to properly use it. Where I went wrong with the Stalker Rifle at first was I was treating it solely as a sniper weapon. Once you realise the Stalker Rifle's fire rate and ability to adapt, you will find it to be very useful whenever you get your hands on it. I used to try avoid the Stalker Rifle because I saw it as a sniper weapon and I'm not too good with snipers, but the Stalker Rifle isn't just that. You can use it just like how you would a carbine in both mid to long range situations. Just imagine you're using a carbine rifle when using the stalk rifle as it will as it will probably help you get better and think of different ways to using the gun. When in mid when in mid range combat too, you don't have to scope at all. Firing unscoped is just fine with the stalk rifle in mid range combat. The stalk rifle is definitely no slug and isn't like a beam rifle or sniper rifle when it comes to how it fires. So when in mid-range combat, treat the stalker like a carbine. I suggest not scoping and firing it from the hip. When in long-range combat, do treat it like a beam rifle and scope in. The stalker definitely has its variety of uses and is adaptable to different combat situations. For your accuracy, I recommend only scoping if you need to. Also, don't spam your stalker rifle as well, especially if your aim isn't that good as it can throw you off more and give the enemy a good chance at killing you. It's best to only shoot when you know you can chuck a couple of shots at the enemy. Headshots are good and they do more damage of course, so be sure to try aim for the head as much as you can too. And uh, one of my last tips that I want to give is just keep doing training mode, okay? If you're someone who uh, does training mode or if you're someone who doesn't do training mode, you really should when it comes to using certain weapons you're not that good at because even though you're not in an actual match, at least you're giving yourself a chance to use whatever weapons you want, so then you can practice against the AI, you can put it up to the highest difficulty, pretend you're playing against actual players and actually go at it. I mean, sometimes the bots are better than actual players too, so yeah. Training mode definitely is useful, and also the Spartan Weapon Academy, or whatever it's called as well, the weapon drills, I mean. Yeah, the weapon drills, they're very useful as well. So I do recommend them too. And so yeah, anyways guys, that is the end of this video. If you do enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Did this video help you out? Be sure to let me know how you go uh, after watching this video with the Stalker Rifle. If it, is, if it did actually help you out, it would be good if it did. They're just my own tips. And if you have any tips of your own, be sure to leave them down in the comments below to help out anyone else watching this video who might feel like they need a bit more. And yeah, see you all soon. Bye-bye.